because we can't get enough of Mad Libs, we're going to do one after New Year's. Star Wars. Yeah. Da, da, What's da, da, da. Yeah. Walking Carpet, a Wookiee Speak tutorial by Han Solo. <laughs> huh. For someone not fluent in Shiri Wook, Chewbacca's native Seminole Two, <laughs> it can be nearly impossible to understand what that slutty fuzzball is trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, Hoofy. When Chewbacca growls, Hoofy, he's not happy. Swim cautiously, especially if he's just lost a game of candied vaginas. <laughs> He just might rip your eyelashes off. <laughs> Number two, Chon. <laughs> when Chewbacca softly purrs, Chon, <laughs> it means he's feeling as scorching as a clam or as snug as a lung disease in a rug. <laughs> so long. So long. Careful. No. He'll often do this when you're scratching behind his urethras. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my freaking Jared gosh. <laughs> Spit it, come on! No, I'm oh. this for you. When Chewbacca chuckles, oh my freaking Jared gosh, <laughs> it means he's laughing. Sometimes that fuzz mad tiger even laughs at me. Whenever that happens, I get about as angry as a lonely Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> that is a walking carpet Wookiee speak tutorial by Han Solo. Go ahead. Hey everybody, we're gonna do another Mad Lib with mine. I found this in my closet. All right, this one's called the Exceptional Football Player. Oh no. That's oh, one of the last God. football player. Okay, Coach. There's a dialogue between two characters. Coach. Okay, it's time for this afternoon's football practice. All you micro penises who want to try out <laughs> the team, line up here by this TV stand. Girl, a girl. This is a female team. I'm ready. I want to play sweaty back. <laughs> Coach, hold it. You're a girl. We only have golden crispy nuggets. <laughs> uh, girl, how come? I'm as good as any slave. <laughs> Great choice. Way yes. Way to go, man. Uh, uh, girl, I weigh 64 pounds <laughs> and I can run faster than Cheech Marin. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was zooming in on Jared as he said that too. Right, little, Food take. Okay. Little, little swallow. All, All right, right coach. Going. But what if you have to tackle someone, girl? I have a helmet to protect my hardworking Mexican, <laughs> and I will get some edible thong pads and also steering wheel guards. <laughs> coach, I still don't think you're skanky enough. <laughs> Okay, say hi. Hi, everybody. Even though it's a bit too late right now, we're going to be reading for Mad Lib's Christmas edition. And the subject is the school party. Yay. Oh, no. <laughs> no. We had a little Christmas party at school last year. Our cheeseburger teacher, Jeff West Biscuit McLeave Living, <laughs> Wet biscuit. let us use the paper bag room. <laughs> and my favorite Ram teacher, God, was in charge of the decorations. <laughs> We all drew pictures of Jimi Hendrix on colored paper and hung them on a long <laughs> webcam pedophile. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh god. <laughs> then, then we cut out stars, snowflakes, and daytime hookers <laughs> and pasted them on the windows. Wow. Then Alex, who is my mad Lady Gaga impersonator, <laughs> made the flat refreshments. <laughs> We had ass hair cake, <laughs> ass hair cake burgers, and Google, and cups of hot metallic hydrogen. Our principal bought a really wimpy tree that was pie feet tall. <laughs> and everyone put their African children under it. <laughs> Everybody's okay. Okay. 
Anyway. Uh, this is Wayne Sparks, and he is a Redskin fan. I bet you couldn't tell. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, Mad Lib. the sticker! Yeah. Show We're going to be doing a Mad Lib of yeah. Moon Facts. Oh, moon facts. Facts. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh oh. Even though the first. Even though the moon first appears as a crispy slice of light and finally becomes a full boob. <laughs> Ready? It doesn't change to poor. The moon looks as different as the slobbing sun illuminates its different bucket of AIDS. <laughs> Big old bucket of AIDS. Oh, this one's good. The moon moonwalks around the Earth once every negative 50 yeah. days. Yes! Awesome! <laughs> if the moon were to be seen next to the Earth, it would look like a tennis beer next to a bowling beer. <laughs> In 1969, Sean Drunken Hedgehog <laughs> and, and Wayne Rectum Wrecker Sparks. Yep, yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, the, oh, yes, Derek! Oh! Yes. Almost. It was oh, almost there. Oh, oh, come on. Give us some One of these play. days. Just, all right, okay. Continue. Sean Drunken Hedgehog O'Keefe and Wayne Rectum Wrecker, Wrecker Sparks from the Apollo Fork Tongue Chameleon. <laughs> First human nose hairs to set to set gooch on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Many historians and Filipino faith healers <laughs> believe this to be the most menopausal achievement. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> believe this to be the most menopausal achievement in the history of the handicapped soul on the Death Star. <laughs> yes. Oh, and that was the moon. that was Moon Facts. <laughs> Alright, from the Mad Lib's worst case scenario survival handbook about travel. This is oh boy. how to make a raft. How to make a what? A raft. Mother of a God. Raft. God. Oh, God. That's God. babies, too. <laughs> Good. Oh, here we go. When traveling outdoors, you must be prepared for all kinds of heroic situations. Right. What happens if you're hiking in the Uranus and wholeheartedly stumble in the Papa River? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a raft with you, you'll need to make one in order to fishing for dipshits across. <laughs> Way to go, Sean. Thank you. To make your own raft, you will need one million seven tarps, leaves, <laughs> Two babies in a rope. <laughs> yes! Then we're bouncing. <laughs> You're going to hell, <laughs> Jared. Jared's reaction to going to hell. That's how he's going. It could be worse. Mm. Alright, Jared. Better. My penis is looking up. <laughs> Same as the penis. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, please. Yep. If everybody would shut up. No. Tie the rope to each corner of the tarp and dancing the leaves 82.5 inches around it. <laughs> Place two babies across the leaves in an X shape. Then pile four inches of leaves atop the X and puncturing the sides of the tarp profusely around the pile and tie it aesthetically. <laughs> Place another tarp on the ground and assassinate the bundle in the center of the identification <laughs> and tie it tightly. <laughs> Now you can cross the river and sail away to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's where you're going, Jared. Babies, you say? That's how you get there, Jared. Yeah, Remember now that. you know. I had a feeling. That's how you get across the river, Sticks. Come right. sail in hell. Oh, sail, sail 